In part 3, we'll upload an item to connect and set up a portfolio. Here is how to upload items in Connect. First, log in to Connect website. Next, click on your profile in the top right corner. Then go to My Portfolio to click the Upload button. Or you can simply click on the arrow button on the top right corner of the main page without going into your profile page. Then, drag and drop your file when the upload page appears. The file size cannot exceed 500 megabytes. For detailed information on item guidelines and production standards, please refer to the Joining Connect section in the Help Center on the footer, located at the bottom of the page. After successfully uploading your file, click Next button to move on to the next page. Now, let's enter all the descriptions on the upload page. First, Uploaded File. In this section, you can check the file name and size you uploaded on the previous page. And if you want to change the file, click Replace to change it to a different file. Next, for Thumbnail. Drag and drop the image file you want to show as the main image file for the thumbnail. The file format should be JPEG, PNG, and BMP. We recommend uploading the image in a ratio of 3 to 4 or 750 by 1000 pixels. For the title, by default, it is automatically entered as the uploaded file name. You may change the title of your preference. In the description field, please write all the detailed information you need to describe your item. Next will be the tags. In here, you may use the tags to improve search and filter. If you just hit enter, the tag will be added. Now for the attachments. If there are additional files you would like to provide, please attach them in the section. Please note that files attached as attachments are not protected as original items. Lastly, additional images. In this section, if there are additional images you want to show other than the thumbnail image, you can simply drag and drop the file to add images. By dragging the image, you can also change the order of your images. When all the descriptions are filled in, click on the Next button to move to the next page. Now, for step 2, we'll set up the category, collection, price, and license type on the set categories page. First, Main category is automatically set based on file format. You can also change to a different category. However, once the upload is completed, the category cannot be changed, so please be sure when uploading. For detailed category, you may select multiple categories and must select the category that fits the item. In set collection, it allows you to select a collection where you can place items from your portfolio page, and the settings can be changed on the portfolio page as well. When uploading for the first time, the default collection will be set as Collection A, and after that, you can add and edit collections on your portfolio page. Next, for pricing and license options. You may choose your item as either paid, free, or view only. If you select paid, you can set the price for each license below. Currently, the extended license can be set up to 8 times the price of the basic license. Also, after publishing it as a free item, you cannot change it back to a paid item. Finally, the physical production. In this section, you can mark the option of an item to be physically produced and provide the information as well.
if the item contains an original item that does not have checked as physical production, the option will be restricted. Also, fabric, trim, and avatar items cannot be selected as a physical production option. When category, price, and license settings are completed, click the next button at the bottom. After items appear in the 3D window on the draft page, click on the publish button for the final upload. Here, if you do not publish your item, it will remain a draft that cannot be shown to the public. And for the free and view-only items, it will be published immediately without the inspection process. But in the case of paid items, they will be approved and published after two to three days of inspection. And for paid items, issues regarding the use of brand logo, missing information, design duplication, incomplete items, and garment category items containing avatars might be rejected during the inspection. Please go to Help Center and refer to the Joining Connect guide to proceed with the upload. If you have uploaded your item, let's go to My Portfolio by clicking on the profile picture next to the shopping cart icon. Then you'll find the item you just uploaded on your portfolio page. Now, let's take a look at this portfolio page, a space where introducing users and managing items. The very top part is the main part where the banner image is displayed. By adding a banner image, it would show the concept of the creator effectively. As stated in the text, 3200 by 280 pixels are recommended for the size of the banner image. Click the camera icon at the top of the page to register a banner image. If you have uploaded the image for the banner, let's fill out the creator's information on the left. First, click on the human icon to add a profile picture. Then, enter your name or either your nickname. Click on the drop-down arrow to select your occupation. Then, enter your contact information such as your email address or phone number. Also, click on the drop-down arrow to select your region. Then, add the link to your social media account for reference. Lastly, for the introduction, you can write your brief introduction about yourself. Next, let's move on to the collection part. The collection is where you can gather your items of specific themes and creators can create a collection, change the name, and manage their items. If you upload more than one item, the collection will be created. Since we just uploaded one item, the collection is created under the name Collection A. Changing the collection name is pretty simple. When clicking on the name Collection A, you can edit the name of the collection and then press Enter to save the name. And you can simply create a collection and name it as well. Just click on the Add a New Collection to name the collection of your preference. Here, I'll create two for the samples. If you don't like the collection you've created, you can also delete it. Click on the three dots on the right side of the line across the collection name. Then, 
it'll show three options, move up, down, and delete. You can either select move up or down to change the order of your collections, or select delete to remove the collection. So this is the end of all the tutorials for upload and portfolio settings for Connect. I hope you find this video helpful so that you're ready to use all the 3D assets on Connect to create your own portfolio. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.